I'm Kimberly Jolly from the Fat Quarter Shop, and It's So Emma has a brand new pattern called Peppermint Bark. As the name suggests, it's super sweet, and it's got lots of points and pieces, but I'm gonna walk you through it. So let me show you how to make this block. Your first step in the Peppermint Bark is to make half square triangle units. You're gonna take your Fabric A square and draw a line from corner to corner with a friction pin. I use a friction pin since it will disappear with heat later. Place this square on top of your fabric I square. Then you're gonna stitch a quarter inch away from your drawn line. Cut in the center and you have two. Press towards your green and you're gonna make four half square triangle units for each block. To make your next unit, you're gonna draw a line from corner to corner on the back of your fabric E squares. Place this on the left end of a fabric K rectangle and just make sure you've got your line the correct direction. Stitch directly on the line, trim a quarter inch away and press toward the green. If you press according to the pattern on this one, all your seams are gonna nest and come out beautifully. You're gonna make four for each block. Now we're gonna take all the units we made and some squares and rectangles to make our corner unit. You're gonna be sewing the G and the half square triangle unit together, press toward the white. Your fabric D and K, press toward the green. Your partial half square triangle unit and your fabric D square, press toward the green. Then you're gonna put these together and press toward the center and you're gonna have four corner units. The next unit is super simple and it's great to chain piece just to get it done super quick. You're just gonna put together your fabric K, C, and L rectangles and press away from the center. You're gonna have four for each block. Now we're gonna make some more half square triangle units and you're gonna do the same thing we did on the very first step using your fabric B and J squares, putting them right sides together, stitching a quarter inch away from your center line. And you're gonna make four center half square triangle units. You're gonna have four per block and then we're gonna put these together. Paying attention to how it lays. You've pressed towards your red so all your seams are gonna nest. You're gonna put these two together and press. These two together, press. Then put that row together and you're gonna have your center pinwheel unit. So now it's time to just wrap it all up. Just put all your units out, pay attention to the direction of everything, and then you're just gonna sew them together in rows, press toward your middle units, then put your rows together and press toward the outside. And ta-da, your peppermint bark block is done. You can find this pattern at the Fat Quarter Shop and this block would look amazing in any fabrics. So try it today and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.